Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. Someone asked me recently, is it possible to write a web test in under a minute? So let's find out. What I have here is a starter project. It's a simple Java Selenium project with nothing in it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to see if we can write a very simple test from scratch in under a minute, or we'll, we'll see how long it takes. So let's go. I am, first thing I'm going to do is create a test case class. I'm going to call it search test because we're going to do some searching. And inside my test class, I am going to write a test case. It's going to be called search for kittens because that's what I want to search for. I'm going to create a web driver instance because that is how I'm going to control my browser. It will use Chrome. So let's make it a Chrome driver. Now I'm going to open the driver at a URL. Let's use DuckDuckGo. HTTPS www.duckduckgo.com and I'm going to type in the keywords that I want to search for. Now I need to find the element on the page that I want to interact with. If the search query element has the name of Q and so that's the one I'm going to look up and I'm going to type some values in using send keys and send keys I'm going to send in kittens. I'm also going to type the enter key to trigger the search. And then what I want to do is assert that driver, get the title, and I'm going to import the assert statement. It's going to be an assert J assert. I'm going to check that it's equal to kittens at duck duck go. And then finally, I'm going to close the driver and finish the test. Let's run this now, see if it works. And so there we have it. We have a very simple test that we've written in a minute or so, and it works. Now this is a really simple basic test, but you can see that there's not really that much to it. As you learn to do web testing, uh, in a professional sense, in a, at a professional level, you'll learn more sophisticated techniques, page objects, layers of abstraction, how to scale your tests, how to make them easier to maintain, easier to read in the long term. But this just shows you how simple it is to get started once you are fluent and comfortable with your chosen programming language. I hope this was useful. Thanks a lot, folks. Thanks for listening.